Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Cardano wallet called Daedalus for storing your ADA cryptocurrency. I'll also show you how to purchase a little ADA and store it in your wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm on the Cardano homepage. This is where you can find out more about the Cardano project, what it's all about. Uh, Cardano is a cryptocurrency that you can purchase and store in your own wallet. Um, it's called ADA, A-D-A. -A. That's its ticker symbol. Uh, now, if you want to store Cardano in your own wallet, you'll want to go uh, to Get Started up here and go over to Daedalus Wallet and download the latest version of the Daedalus Wallet. that takes you over here all right so i already have the daedalus wallet so i'm just going to go ahead and launch my wallet and it'll probably direct me back to this page and then i'll show you how this download works and how you do these verifications okay so when we launch our daedalus wallet it's going to tell us that there's a new version available so let's go ahead and click that link should open up our web browser all right and make sure if you get the right version for your platform right this is the windows version over here on the left on the right <laughs> i'm just going to drop this in my downloads folder all right now you can go ahead and just run the installer once you get it downloaded but they do provide some verification tools over here uh, the first of which is a sha checksum a sha 256 checksum so I'll demo how that works. You can just click the copy here, copy that into your clipboard. All right, this is an online SHA sum checker. Uh, you basically just choose the file that you just downloaded. All right, just uh, highlight that file and open it up. So that's the file that it's going to run the SHA sum on. All right, and you'll choose SHA 256. Let it run that one. And it's going to generate a SHA sum hash. Now, there are many ways to generate this. There's uh, online sites that do SHA sum. You can do this on the Windows command line. Uh, there's uh, software that you can install uh, for checking SHAs. I'm just doing one. And now you're going to paste in that one that you copied from the Daedalus website. You want to compare that to the one that you got to make sure that they're the same, right? This is a verification step, right? Now, if you want to go a step further, you can also download the PGP signature, which uh, is right here. You'll drop that in downloads right next to your uh, installer. And then you're going to run some specialized software. I have, uh, I'll put a video up in the corner there that shows you how to download and install this software for uh, cryptographic verification. I'm using Cleopatra here. All right, and you'll notice that I already have the IOHK signing authority uh, developer key in my list of keys. That video that I mentioned that's up in the corner there will uh, show you how to get this downloaded and uh, set up in your keychain. All right, so once we've got the developer signing key in our keychain, we've got the installer downloaded and we've got the PGP signing key file downloaded we can go to decrypt verify go over to our downloads and you'll notice there that the uh, pgp key is right next to my installer they need to be in the same folder all right and that's what you want to see you want to see that nice green valid signature by the signing authority to make sure that you've downloaded a clean copy of the installer. All right, now I'm assuming that I'm going to need to quit <laughs> this before I run the installer. So I'm going to go ahead and quit the one that I uh, launched and go ahead and run the installer from my downloads folder for the new version. Now I did not uh, uninst I did not uninstall my old wallet. So uh, the blockchain data that I downloaded in my previous wallet is still stored 
in my preferences folders. So it should see that uh, blockchain data, right? I don't need to uh, re-download the entire Daedalus blockchain. All right, so I'm just gonna let it sync up to the network. There it goes. It's uh, connected to the network there. It's got my previous wallet, everything is good. And it tells me that it's 99.81 sync to the ADA blockchain. Now, if you're a little more meticulous, you might want to uninstall your original Daedalus wallet and maybe uh, delete the uh, blockchain data on your computer, which is in your app data folder, in your app data roaming folder. But uh, it's not really necessary. I'll just let this thing get synced up. All right, now it's fully synced. So I would like to buy some ADA. So I'm going to show you a pretty easy way to do that. That'll go right into your uh, Daedalus wallet. I'm going to do a receive here. And I've got uh, a, an, an ADA address that I can just copy into my clipboard. Um, you can generate new addresses if you want to, like this. You'll need to put in your uh, password. This will uh, increase your privacy and security so that your history won't show. Uh, I'll take that new address there. All right, I'll copy that into my clipboard. And then I'm going to go over to a site called uh, CoinSwap Pro. Or Co Coin Switch Pro. I always get that wrong. All right, so I want to uh, buy some ADA. All right, they have it available. All right, and I want to use, I'll use Bitcoin. All right, so I've got a little Bitcoin in my wallet and uh, about 0.04. So I'll use that to get some ADA. All right, so we've got that address in our clipboard. Uh, we'll go over here. We'll just paste it in, uh, Cardano. And I'm going to change this to 0.04. Right, that'll net me uh, about 5,000 ADA. Right, and you can see here that there's different uh, exchanges that might give you better rates. Right, I'll go ahead and choose Changely. It looks like their rate is a little better. I'm gonna hit Exchange. All right, now it just wants me to deposit my Bitcoin into this address. So I'll copy this Bitcoin address into my clipboard. I'll go back over here to my wallet. I'll go ahead and do a send of Bitcoin. I'll paste in that Bitcoin, whoops, paste in that Bitcoin address. I'll hit continue. And I'll go ahead and put 0 0.04. And I'll hit continue. And I'll hit continue one more time. And I'm using a hardware wallet, so I need to verify the transaction on my device. It's asking me to go into the Bitcoin app. All right, so I'm on top of Bitcoin. I'll just hit both buttons, and I'm in Bitcoin. That's all I need to do, really. All right, once I go into the Bitcoin app, it's going to ask me to verify the transaction on my device by hitting buttons. All right, so all I need to do is just confirm. All right, I'm just reviewing the transaction by advancing over here. It shows me the address I'm sending, and then... I'll just hit both buttons to accept. And then I need to confirm the fees, very small. And I'll accept that. And there goes my transaction. All right, so my Bitcoin balance goes down. I can go over here uh, and just uh, keep an eye on coin swap, coin switch. Keep an eye on coin switch and wait for uh, my Bitcoin to arrive. All right, so it detected the Bitcoin. I'm basically just trading Bitcoin for ADA. That's all I'm doing. So uh, it's gonna end up in my ADA wallet, right? So I'll just monitor, I can monitor the transaction down here. It's, uh, I can click track and it'll give me an estimate of what's going on with the, uh, deposit of my Bitcoin, the exchange uh, from Bitcoin to ADA, and then it's going to send the ADA back to my wallet. So I can watch it here 
And then I can just keep an eye on the wallet too. If we go over here to summary, uh, you can just watch the transactions come in. You, you can see I created this wallet uh, by moving some from a uh, previous wallet, right? But you'll notice uh, in a few minutes that there'll be a new ADA transaction and I'll have the uh, newly purchased ADA in my wallet. All right, and you can see here in my wallet that the ADA has arrived. We can go to coin switch and see that the uh you know my bitcoin got verified uh they made the exchange from bitcoin to ada and now they're in the process of sending it uh, my wallet has already detected it so uh that's a given that i got the ada so that's it i uh downloaded and installed the new version of the daedalus wallet i did uh chasm uh check i did the uh cryptographic verification with the PGP signing key, um, got the updated wallet, did a quick uh, coin switch pro transaction to purchase a little ADA. So uh, I hope that sheds some light on this whole uh, Cardano wallet and how to purchase Cardano. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan, where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.